I'm about to light my braids out and I already know it's gonna be a lion's mane. Are you ready for this? Last time I did this, I looked like Tori Kelly. Well, the Asian version. Dun da da da! <laughs> Give it to me, I'm worth it. Baby, I'm worth it. Oh. Elevator OOTD. Digging it! Buenos dias. Starting in the morning with some hot chocolate. <laughs> Going to the Tio Tio Tijuan Con. I'm going on tour. seeing over right here is only the 12 percent of all Teotihuacan used to be all right so it was a city for about 22 kilometers square and usually where we thought about Teotihuacan we have this common mistake we thought that it was built by Aztecs or Mayas that is a very usual mistake in order for us to understand the pre-Hispanic past we decide to divide it in two different moments all right there is the pre-classico the classico and the post-classico all right, so we're going to find Teotihuacan in the middle during the classical period. All right, that means that in the classical period is the moment of the urbanization of the people in Mesoamerica. That reddish, uh, you know, colors is part of the original colors still right here. That is red cinabrio. All right, so is that from the mineral called cinabrio? They can make uh, this kind of red pigment. It's mineral. That's why it's very, very important. So you can imagine every single part of it right here painted and decorated with the three most important colors in here, who is the red, the blue, and the white or cream. All right, guys? So the best way to climb is the zigzag way. Oh man, this is tiring. <laughs> now this is the temple <coughs> of the feather serpent. All right, you will identify the feather serpent because it's the heads in the both sides of the stair, right? But also we have another character, the square one, the one who looks like SpongeBob, right? <laughs> that is Tlaloc, the god of the rain. That's why it's very, very important. You can see, for example, on that side, there's the little stones, right? This is obsidian glass. Oh yeah, dragon glass from Game of Thrones. It's a volcano glass. Time to climb this high altitude pyramid. Um, apparently it's gonna be kind of hard to breathe up there, but once I get to like the middle part, it should be easier. But let's do this. This is the pyramid of sun. This is mad steep. <laughs> associated with the water because as you can see this uh, puma is walking through a river you can realize it because it looks like waves right and also we can find the original colors in here red blue and white and cream color all right that's why it's very very important you stand over there and talk we can hear it in any of these ones like here clearly the person is saying from over there so we're testing it out right now. 
Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, we can hear him all the way over here. So we have English, Spanish, and this is Nahuatl, all right? It's, this is a language that the people, uh, the indigenous people, speak. Look, knee for scale. <laughs> 2,100 meters above the sea level. Uh, sound like rain. They used to make chambers underground. All right, guys. I think it was the last year, right? Uh, one of these uh, archaeologists, she is starting to make the excavation deeper in the in the King Kunze, you know. So she found a little hole, like uh, 22 centimeters, you know, with separation about 60 centimeters. And they go four meters on the ground, and they figure it out that all these holes are imitating the landscape. It was one of the most important cities in the classical period. It was the one who had a lot of influence in Mesoamerica, right? And they started to set up every single concept about religion, society, economy, trade, everything start over right here, all right? First time in the metro station. Christmas season in Mexico City. I've seen stores and stores dedicated to selling Christmas decorations. It's the season to be jolly. Ba -la 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 -la. All right, on a mission to go to this churro place. Four thousand. 820 wow. views, 4.4 stars. I'm excited, haven't had churro here yet. Here it is. Here it is. This place is packed. This place is packed. And they just saw churros and drinks. And yeah. Well, there's people making the churros over there. boxes of these because you can never have enough cookies right <laughs> 